Hi, my name's John. Welcome to another Sunday Night Nightcap. I haven't got a great lot done in the workshop this week because I haven't been well. I've had some sort of horrible flu, but I'm certainly well on the main now. I've been given a new lens for my camera, an adapter lens, a macro lens. So I did some filming on the layer that had some aluminium bushes to make and I took some close-up shots of various tools and taps working. And I think it's really interesting watching close-up shots of machining like that. But there again, I suppose I would. So I show that, and I also have a broken stud to get out uh, on a manifold up behind the back of an engine. So I make two extended drills to try and get them out, and hopefully I'll take the camera to work next week and do a little bit of film of them coming out. Right, so that's what's going to happen next week, and you know what's going to happen this week. Next Sunday is the first Sunday of the month, so it's time for the, the monthly draw. If you haven't entered the draw, all you need to do is send me an email. That's my email up there, and all I need is your name, your full name, like John Mills, not just John. Your name goes in the bucket. If it's drawn out, I'll post a prize off anywhere in the world, completely free of charge, and that is some nice prizes. I'm going to do a special raffle for Christmas, a December raffle. I've got one or two bits and pieces. I'll be showing all them next week. The Stuart Turner engine is coming on very well, it's nearly finished, I've got some bits of paintwork to do, then I want to try and run it on steam off Richard's steam wagon, and then it'll be coming back to bits again, or most of it, to be finally painted and put back together properly. I've enjoyed doing the project, I hope you've enjoyed following it. The next major project is going to be the jet engine, I've made a start on that, I've got a lot of bits together. Um, the videos will be going on the Patreon channel first, probably for two or three weeks and then they'll filter down onto my normal channel so everybody's going to get to see them just you'll have adverts and you won't have me swearing and you won't see it quite as soon if you want to join the Patreon channel there is a link in the description box have a look if you want to sponsor me certainly feel free to do so I've got some aluminium spacers to make for a lad the first one is 20mm long 25mm diameter which is what that is and needs a 14 by 1.5 thread. And who will put them through it? 14 by 1.5 may seem a strange thread, but it is very, very popular in the motor trade. First thing we'll do is square one end up. Aluminium, go like it. Seems to be a particularly showy bit of aluminium. I don't know why. That is absolutely horrible, that. I have a different piece. And that's considerably different, so this is obviously a much, much better grade of aluminium. So we'll cut it off just about the length first. Go along 26 mil from there. This is a nice bit of material. Ah, it's actually trying to stick on top of the on top of the tool there. It builds up. I just do a light machine aluminium, it's not nice. But it's good of WD40. Makes a massive difference. I 
it. So we've now got a piece of part off 26.38. So if I take 1.38 off, it'll bring it down to the correct size. In a decent hole of this because I'm going to put some threads into it. Found this round tip really good for machine aluminium. Took it off. Put it in the wrong way around, that's the, the face of the machine. And that's the end, we'll just part it off. Just touch in there. Take one move first. Then point three eight. Twelve point five is the drill size for the fourteen by one point five I'm going to be using. They were trying to stick to the drill, trying to block the hole up. Right, this is the 14 by 1.5 top, it should go straight into there. Should do. Fourteen by one five used a lot on cost some plugs, oil fittings, turbocharger fittings. And then the final one, the fourteen one two five, is your spark plug. Your spark plug top. Right, that's nicely all the way through. Reverse the lathe and then push itself back out. One little rag on there to take off. We've got 25 points, basically 25 days, so that's exactly what I wanted. See that thread in there is really nice and crisp. Nice sharp, shiny thread. I do like to see sharp, focus, shiny threads like that. Right, the next one is 50mm long, 20mm diameter with a 8.5mm hole through it, we'll get out of that. I think this is 25 mil bar. 
indeed, so I want 5mm off there. We'll be able to machine that off without putting the steady in there, I would imagine. We'll give it a try and see what happens anyway. Touch it off. Put a 2mm cut on. I'll we'll put one, one and a half, that's going to take three off. We do one at first just to see what happens with it. No problem at all. Such a simple job, I'm going to play around with different camera angles just so you get a little bit of different view on things. Don't do any harm. This is the last cut, a half mil cut, which is going to take down to the 20 mil I require. And that really is putting a nice finish on. I think the chips on breaking when it's not there. It's doing a nice job all this year. So you can see what's all they're putting a beautiful, a beautiful fillet in there, which is an ideal transition from one damp to the other. It means you won't get a you won't get a stress point. But we're gonna chop this off and put some threads in it anyway. And this time I think it's 8.5 or one. Be very careful with the chips done. I'm just trying to go there, lock on the drill. What we'll do, we'll, we'll step it out, we'll go a little bit bigger and then go back in with that to leave some clearance for the chips to come out. Slow it down a little bit for this. Beautiful. The way that drill's cut and that. Make sure now we put the smaller one back in, and there'll be plenty of clearance. Right, the length's 50, so we'll cut it off. Take it longer and the machine the end up nice and square and put a little shampoo on it. Fifty, fifty-one point four. That's it. One point four off the end, and that should bring it to the size I want. Just again, we'll use the little ball end cutter. Touch it off. 1.4. Do the one first. Bollocks. Do the one axis. Come on, John. And we'll just touch in there. One nail. In the point four bit. Mm -hmm. 
jobs should be a good one. Needs to be basically which is 50 mil. Certainly near enough for a suspension spacer. 